good morning my dear students welcome to physics class we started our first chapter motion in this chapter we discussed straight line motion okay straight line motions and equations of motion and how to draw a graph are discussed in the first session of this chapter and the second session we are going to discuss the uniform circular motion that is in this chapter the two types of motion one is straight line motion and the second one is uniform circular motion okay next we are going to discuss the topic uniform circular motion okay uniform circular motion before explaining this uniform circular motion what is circular motion what is circular motion the circular motion means if an object is moving along a circular path that type of motion is called what circular motion okay if an object is moving along a circular path that type of motion is called circular motion example in our solar system we have the sun is the center of the solar system and eight planets are revolving around the sun our earth also a planet in the solar system that is the earth is revolving around the sun okay the motion of earth around the sun is circular motion that is for example this is our sun and this is our earth that is the earth is revolving around the sun in a circular path okay the fourth this is an, one of the example for circular motion and in the case of atoms you studied atom structures okay atom structure in that you studied the center of the atom is considered as nucleus and electrons are revolving around the nucleus along a circular path that is this electrons are revolving along a circular path that means here in the case of atoms the electrons are traveling in a circular path that means here the motion of the electron is circular motion circular motion okay this is what is circular motion clear yeah. uh, another example in our clock clock uh, second needle okay a second needle is uh, revolving around a circular path okay that is clock pendulum okay clock pendulum is also a, an example for circular motion okay okay then what is uniform circular motion before that what is a velocity velocity we have the velocity is the the speed along the direction a speed along with a direction sorry the speed along with a direction is called velocity okay speed along with the direction is called velocity what is the unit of velocity meter per second okay velocity is a vector velocity is a vector quantity what is vector quantity a vector quantity or quantity has a magnitude and a direction that type of quantities are called vector quantities okay here velocity is a vector quantity why it have a definite direction and a magnitude okay magnitude clear yeah. and 
in the case of uniform circular motion if a body moving with a circular path a circular path in that case there is no change in magnitude of velocity that circular motion is called uniform circular motion that is in the case of uniform circular motion there is no change in the magnitude of velocity okay there is no change in the magnitude of velocity that is in that case the velocity is uniform okay uniform velocity that is in the case of uniform circular motion the velocity is uniform velocity that means there is no change in magnitude of velocity okay but here this uniform circular motion is also called accelerated motion is also called accelerated motion why it is called accelerated motion what is acceleration first of all what is acceleration acceleration we have the acceleration is the change in velocity okay the change in velocity in a unit time is called what acceleration acceleration okay here the change in velocity the change in velocity or the velocity of an object can be changed when there is a change in the following that is if the speed if the speed is changed if the speed of that body is changed that time velocity also change okay and the second one is direction direction if the direction of the motion will change that time the velocity will change and both that is both the speed and the direction are changed that time the velocity also changed that means if the velocity is changed that time the acceleration will generate okay acceleration will generate if there is no change in speed direction that time there is no acceleration okay there is no acceleration that means if the there is no change in velocity that time there is no acceleration okay there is no acceleration here in the case of uniform circular motion the speed is uniform the speed is uniform or the velocity is or there is no change in velocity okay therefore this is not a reason for accelerated motion then the direction in the case of circular motion or uniform circular motion the direction will change how listen here let us consider a circular path okay here i am considering a circular path that is a body is moving along a circular path that is this is a circular motion here i am considering a point a a okay uh, i think you studied the term tangent tangent what is a tangent a tangent is a straight line it is a straight line which touches the circle which touches the circle only one point okay only one point that is called tangent that is considered a circle and uh, in that circle we take a point from that point we draw a straight line that straight line is called tangent okay here 
the direction of velocity at this point is considered as the tangent okay this is the direction of velocity at the point a and consider another point b i am taking this is the second point here the direction of velocity is in this direction here the magnitude is same but the direction will changed here also i am considering another point c here the direction of velocity is a tangent okay here also the magnitude is same but the direction is changed and considering the next point d okay here this is the direction of velocity that means in this case in the case of circular motion or uniform circular motion the magnitude of velocity is constant that is it is uniform velocity okay it is a uniform velocity but the direction will changed if the direction will changed means a change in velocity is formed a if the direction will changed the direction of motion will changed means that time a change in velocity is formed a change in velocity is formed means what an acceleration is formed okay an acceleration is formed clear that acceleration that is the acceleration due to this circular motion is called centripetal acceleration centripetal acceleration centripetal acceleration and okay, listen the acceleration due to this circular motion is called centripetal acceleration the centripetal acceleration is along or the towards the center of the circular path is all circular or all acceleration or all centripetal acceleration towards the center of the circular path that means here the centripetal acceleration the direction of centripetal acceleration and velocity are mutually perpendicular are mutually perpendicular okay and uh, here a change in velocity will formed or the acceleration will formed means a force is experienced on this body okay from center of the circular path a force is experienced on the body from the center of the circular path that force is called centripetal force centripetal centripetal force centripetal force okay this is centripetal acceleration and centripetal force that is the acceleration towards the center of the circular path is called what centripetal acceleration and that force from the circular path is called what centripetal force okay centripetal force okay and uh, one more thing here the direction of acceleration and velocity are mutually perpendicular are mutually perpendicular okay okay this is our uniform circular motion that means here every point the accelerated that is the object is accelerated therefore this uniform circular motion is called accelerated motion okay accelerated motion clear okay one more thing here the velocity this is a uniform velocity here the velocity of uh, the velocity of that body is considered as v equal to 2 pi r by t 
that is the velocity at instant time t equal to 2 pi r by t here r is considered as radius okay here r is considered as radius okay and t t is the time the instantaneous time okay and 2 and pi are constant okay 2 pi is a constant this is the equation for the velocity okay is it clear okay next we are going to discuss some examples one is we already discussed the earth the earth is revolving around the sun this is our sun and this is our earth okay we studied what is centripetal force okay in this case every time the centripetal force is not same is different with the cases in this case that is the earth and sun examples in that case the force of attraction between these two that is the force of attraction between the sun and earth is considered as gravitational force gravitational force gravitational force we already studied that is in our universe every object are mutually attracted due to a force that force is called gravitational force okay here uh, the centripetal force in this case or in this uniform circular motion the centripetal force is considered as gravitational force okay gravitational force and uh, another example in the case of electrons and nucleus okay in that case the centripetal force is considered as uh, the coulomb force coulomb force okay coulomb force uh, or that is also called nuclear force okay nuclear force or coulomb force that is if consider a nucleus and uh, electrons are revolving around this nucleus that time the force between this neutron sorry this nucleus and electron is called coulomb force that is here the centripetal force is equal to what coulomb force okay coulomb force these are the some examples for uniform circular motion okay i hope you all are understand this session today we are discussed uniform circular motion and uh, what is circular motion accelerated motion what, why the uniform circular motion is called accelerated motion okay these are discussed okay i hope you all are understand this session okay thank you